MKUltra was a top-secret CIA project in which the agency conducted hundreds of clandestine experiments, sometimes on unwitting U.S. citizens, to assess the potential use of LSD and other drugs for mind control, information gathering and psychological torture. Though Project MKUltra lasted from 1953 until about 1973, details of the illicit program didn't become public until 1975 during a congressional investigation into widespread illegal CIA activities within the United States and around the world. Want to know more? Let's start now. Welcome everyone to my YouTube channel. So let's go. But before start don't forget to hit the like button and click subscribe and turn all notification on to watch all other amazing stories. So let's go. In the 1950s and 1960s, the height of the Cold War, the United States government feared that Soviet, Chinese and North Korean agents were using mind control to brainwash U.S. prisoners of war in Korea. In response, Alan Dulles, director of the Central Intelligence Agency, CIA, approved Project MKUltra in 1953. The covert operation aimed to develop techniques that could be used against Soviet bloc enemies to control human behavior with drugs and other psychological manipulators. The program involved more than 150 human experiments involving psychedelic drugs, paralytics and electroshock therapy. Sometimes the test subjects knew they were participating in a study, but at other times, they had no idea, even when the hallucinogen started taking effect. Many of the tests were conducted at universities, hospitals or prisons in the United States and Canada. Most of these took place between 1953 and 1964, but it's not clear how many people were involved in the tests. The agency kept notoriously poor records and destroyed most MKUltra documents when the program was officially halted in 1973. The CIA began to experiment with LSD lysergic acid diethylamide, under the direction of agency chemist and poison expert Sidney Gottlieb. He believed the agency could harness the drug's mind-altering properties for brainwashing or psychological torture. Under the auspices of Project MKUltra, the CIA began to fund studies at Columbia University, Stanford University and other colleges on the effects of the drug. After a series of tests, the drug was deemed too unpredictable for use in counterintelligence. MKUltra also included experiments with MDMA, ecstasy, mescaline, heroin, barbiturates, methamphetamine and psilocybin, magic mushrooms. Heard unsuspecting men to CIA, safe houses, where drug experiments took place. The CIA dosed the men with LSD and then, while at times drinking cocktails behind a two-way mirror, watched the drug's effects on the men's behavior. Recording devices were installed in the prostitutes' rooms, disguised as electrical outlets. Most of the Operation Midnight Climax experiments took place in San Francisco and Marin County, California, and in New York City. The program had little a few days later, on November 28, 1953, Olson tumbled to his death from the window of a New York City hotel room in an alleged suicide. The family of Frank Olson decided to have a second autopsy performed in 1994. A forensics team found injuries on the body that had likely occurred before the fall. The findings sparked conspiracy theories that Olson might have been assassinated by the CIA. After prolonged legal proceedings, Olson's family was awarded a settlement of $750,000 and received a personal apology from President Gerald Ford and then CIA Director William Colby. And now we reach the end of the video. And thanks for watching. Out of this world.